you mentioned something, Vix, that I'm kind of curious about the way you talk about it. You said, when I'm in this body, I feel like this. When I'm in that body, I feel like that. What do you mean? I'm assuming you don't actually have two bodies or more. <laughs> but... Swap them out like um, a movie that I'm thinking of. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. Um, yeah, so... Um, so I, I'm a, a somatic coach and one of the ways I work with people and I work with myself is to notice the uh, the shaping, the kind of habitual shaping that our, our body has in different states. Okay. So I said, like, my my I'm stressed, I have to figure it all out way of being. Like, there's a there's a distinct body to that. Like, it has a shaping, it has a... Uh, an emotionality to it like I can and I can put it on like like I'm putting on a coat like I, I can mm -hmm. move in that way and it's like oh yeah right now I'm in this place and then there's yeah there's another another shaping that you know this kind of more open curious uh body open curious way of being but again I can it's why I, I can move into it's really why I really love somatic coaching work because this is really tangible you know, in the yogic traditions, the body is the gross layer of our being. Whereas I can't see my thoughts. I can't touch them. I can, you know, they're kind of fleeting. And by the time I realize I've had it, it's already been through my brain. Whereas this, I, you know, I can, I can move it. So I can kind of work with the different ways I want to be in the world from my body up, like from the ground up. And um, yeah, in the words of one of my teachers, quicker, stickier and deeper than nearly any other kind of form of work that I've, I've done. Mm. I've done. Mm. Interesting. Well, it certainly is true that our bodies are what allow us to feel what we're thinking. Mm. You know, so if we bring mm -hmm. it to mind, we can immediately create that feeling in our body, whatever that thought is, and we can notice it. So without the body, without those sensations, I don't think we would have a way to really be aware of what's happening in our minds. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, of course not, because our brains are locked away in these little bony boxes. Like the only way they know what's going on is through this, through all of our senses. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I think what happened, I mean, would just recall what you said. So um, when I think of thought, I can feel it in my body. That also works the other way, mm -hmm. the right, the shaping that I have the emotion experience that I'm having shapes my thoughts. Mm. So, you know, often when I'm working with clients, if somebody's saying, you know, I want a new perspective, then, you know, sometimes like we'll literally move to a different place in the room. Like, how does it look from this other place? How, how does it look from, from these different bodies? And I put my body in a different shaping. There are different, I, I see the world in a different way. Like sometimes very, uh, very literally when I'm in stress response, my gaze narrows and I focus on the problem. Whereas in a, in a more resourced, softer state, my peripheral vision kicks in and I can see out here again, I can see options. So yeah, the, the shaping our embodiment shapes um, what options are available to us because it shapes what we're seeing in the world around us.